You know, if he gets past uh, short from Wyoming, he'll have uh, Gaten from Iowa State later on this afternoon. He's really working hard right now. I mean, it's about to be looking for back points zero, again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's 11-0 right now with a minute, minute 11 left in this first period. So, take down, two turns. Keep it rock and rolling from there. Top right corner on Matt Two. Colton Hawks, the four seed out of Mizzou, and Adam Cherney from North Dakota State. About 90 seconds into that one. And on Matt Four, the number six seed, Sam Wolf from Air Force, and Jacob Armstrong from Utah Valley in that bottom right corner. So one, two, and four are 184-pound matches. Five NCAA pre-allocations for 184 this year for the Big 12. There it is again. Look at that. Right to that cradle. Man, that's, uh, that's good top wrestling right there. Gavin that's it. Sachs cruising here yes. in this first period, and there is four more points on the uh, Near fall and a 15 nothing tech fall for Gavin Sachs. One takedown, everything else was turned. All in the first period. That's what I was talking about earlier, how fast these matches can go, right? Yeah. If you got somebody that knows what they're really doing on top, get a chance to put those points on the board. And every time he got swipes, they were all four. Just heard from one of the officials. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kate, so uh, quarterfinals at 174. Kate DeVos, uh, Kate DeVos rather, and uh, Brody Conley. Jared Sima and Peyton Mako in the other quarterfinal on that side of the bracket. Braden Thompson and Tate Piccolo in a little bedlam action. Yep. And then Gavin Sachs and MJ Guyton out of Iowa State in the other quarterfinal. Now fully on to 184. 184 and a little bit of mixture of 197 right here as well on uh, on mat three with uh, the man Tanner Sloan from South Dakota State University. Record is 18 and one. He's the number one seed in this bracket and is just, uh, he was the runner up last year at 197 pounds going into his last Big 12 tournament and is just a solid, solid dude, man. He will grind a match out. He's tough on top. Talking to his coaches, he's got a one of those super, super good grips. Really strong kid. Solid basic fundamentals, too. Sloan and Rocky Elam, a similar story to Keegan O'Toole and David Carr. Mm. Elam got Sloan in the Big 12 championship in the finals, but then Sloan got revenge on Elam in the national semifinals. Yep. It's wrestling, man. Like I said, that's why you got to treat every match as different. Every match is different. Don't just think because you beat me once, twice, three times, ten, that you're, you're going to beat me 11. I may get one in. I may be one in 11 against you. <laughs> but I'm going to get it done. Tanner Sloan, the runner-up at the Big 12s, the runner-up and at the NCAA tournament. Sloan with an early 3-0 lead yeah, he was on looking, Xavier Vasquez. He was looking for that inside cradle on Vasquez. Vasquez was like, man, let me turn away real quick. So I swear he's good right here, man. You know, you can separate yourself. This mat wrestling is extremely, extremely key. Like I said, now, especially now, you got a chance to get two near fall, three near fall, and or four near fall from a top position. Oof. You know, we obviously just saw what Gavin Sachs just did here, you know, not five minutes ago. And that was off of one takedown. Sloan just sent one of the red ankle bands for Vasquez flying across the mat. Four one, the advantage late second period for Ethan Duca on Branson Britton. Duca, the eight seed, trying to set up a matchup with Parker Kekeisen. What do you think the mentality is for one of these guys when they see the bracket pop up and, oh, hey, if I win my first round match, I get Parker in the second round. Go wrestle, right? I mean, that's the way you got to look at it. And you don't want to, you don't want to look at it any other way. You still got to go compete and go wrestle. And trust me, that's what these coaches are telling them, right? Yeah, you know, you know Kek Eisen's resume. You know who he is, so on and so forth. Like I always try to tell my, don't wrestle the name, right? Yeah. Don't wrestle the name. 
you go out there and wrestle, worry about your performance, see what happens. And if he does beat you, he beats you, right? But, you know, I got you at this university not to back down from anybody, wherever it's at. Amen. Amen, right? Top right corner of your screen, Matt Chu. Colton Hawks with a 6-2 advantage on Adam Cherney out of North Dakota State. There's Sloan's position right there. Sloan looking for a couple swipes and four more for the number one seed and a 7-0 advantage. He's always attacking wrist, right? He's got his pressure forward, got his opponent flat on his belly. He's raking the head. Now he's working for a cradle. Short time here in this first period. Sam Wolf of Air Force with a 10-1 advantage right now on Jacob Armstrong. Bottom right corner of your screen on Matt Four at 184 pounds. Hawks with a 9-2 lead right here on Matt Two. Minute 53 ride time going into the third period. Tanner Sloan's only loss this year came against Jackson Smith of Maryland. An 8-2 decision at the Cliff Keen Invitational. Went 9-0 against Big 12 wrestlers this year. Looking for a 10th victory here against Vasquez. Duke and Britain, a 4-2 match. 30 seconds left in that third period on Matt One, top left corner of your screen. That's the closest match we got out here so far, Mike. And the other three are rather lopsided at yes. the moment. Britain trying to force the action here. Three more points for Colton Hawks, top right corner of your screen. A 13-2 advantage late third. Hawks has got that takedown. Got him turfed in there. Now he's going to try to push that elbow in. Bring his head to his chest if he can. Keep walking hard. Push off that right foot. Try to get him to the left. Ethan Duca able to hang on. A 4-3 win at 184 pounds. And he will move on to face Parker Kekeisen in the quarterfinals of 184. Journey with an escape 13-3. Under a minute in the third period. Riding time is locked for Hawks. He's about to cruise his way into the quarterfinal and set up a intriguing matchup with Feldkamp of Iowa State. Yep, that'll be a good one, too. Feldkamp coming from Clarion University, was an All-American there, now wrestling for the Cyclones at 184 pounds. Those two met back on February the 25th, Feldkamp and Hawks. A 12-8 win for Colton Hawks. And that was one of the things, you know, talking to Coach Smith about, obviously, making that decision at 184. Whiting was there, was nationally ranked for some time. You know, Hawks was in the lineup last year, had a good Big 12 here last year at, at 184 pounds. And uh, Coach Smith had to, made a, had to make a, a big boy decision between those two great athletes. Sloan with the tech fall. And he will move on at 197 pounds, the number one seed. His 10th win in 10 tries against a Big 12 opponent. The number one seed advancing to the quarterfinals. Sloan is a machine, man. Kid wrestles super hard. Hawks, Hawks finishing up. So it's Hawks and Feldkamp, Keck Eisen and Duke of the two quarterfinals in the top half of the bracket at 184. We got uh, Bennett Berge down there on mat number one. He's facing Nathan Hawks from California Baptist. Berge's from South Dakota State. 15 and three for Berge. 12 and nine 